It's 857. Good morning. Uh, Taylor James is here, uh, singer, songwriter, guitar player. Uh, the name of the album you put out a, a few years ago is called Rewind. And the, uh, the rawness and the, uh, the honesty behind it. Uh, my favorite song, I think, is an old 10 years after song. I'd love to change the world. What's yeah, that's the, a great yeah. one. You said there's a story there. Okay. Uh, we're we're going to start off there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So we, um, the, the album's inspiration was basically songs that we all loved and played. Uh, Rewind we basically means we're going back. We ended up with about 10 songs from the 70s, rock, blues-based songs. And um, once we finished the 10 songs that we had chosen, we thought, okay, we got, we finished a little bit early. We were all staying, at the, like lived in the studio for a week it's it was johnny's johnny's studio called uh, nashcroft in ashcroft so uh, it was a really awesome way to record an album because everybody was there we slept and woke up and had breakfast shared you know broke bread together and when we weren't recording we'd go hiking or whatever just to take breaks and stuff so we finished early and we decided we would do one drunk song and uh so we all went down to the liquor store <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> Oh, God, it was so funny. I don't think Ashcroft ever saw anything like it, the whole band. So we all just picked our wine and our beer or whatever we wanted, and we just had a really lovely dinner to celebrate the album. Everybody had a few drinks. Midnight comes. We say, okay, let's go down and cut a track, and that was 10 years after. And it was really funny because we were all, you know, um, in a state, (laughs) and we really didn't care if if, if the song made it or not. We just chose that song, and uh, it turned out to be one one of the, you know, excellent cuts on the album that's got that thing right and is one of my favorite yeah i know i love it it's taylor james i'd love to change the world on tri-city radio i'd love to change the world but i don't know what to do so i'll leave it up to you Everywhere is freaks and harries, dykes and fairies. Tell me where is sanity? Tax the rich, feed the poor, till there are no rich no more.
you will change the world But I don't know what to do So I'll leave it up to you Yeah, I'll leave it up to you Taylor James, love to change the world. Tri City Radio, ninety eight point seven CKPM FM. Uh, that was the the drunken song. <laughs> Who's the bass player in that? Rob Becker. Rob Becker. <laughs> you said it. he was kind of like what? What happened when you're recording that? Well, he would be. You know, his head was back on the couch as though he was sleeping, and then as soon as Jeff would count the song, and his head would pop up, and he'd just start playing. <laughs> I'm awake. Was, yeah, it was awesome. Can I mention all the guys? In yeah, the band, please. If yeah. You don't mind. Jeff Hicks played drums. Um, Jay Bittner on guitar, Rob Becker on bass, and Daryl Havers on keyboards. Um, John Ellis, of course, on guitar and steel. Uh, just a, you know, these are not only my my bandmates, but they're my best friends in the world. Well, and and, and it's so good. Now, did did you guys bring a, a Hammond in there, or did you just use the uh, kind of the modern technology to get the sound? Uh, it I, sounds like there's a bit of a Hammond. Yeah, Daryl. I don't know if you know Daryl Havers. He's the master. Yeah. Um, he had all kinds of fun. Stuff he's, right he's amazing. <laughs> That's good. So Taylor James is here. Uh, we like doing this every now and then. We bring somebody in. She's a singer, songwriter, guitar player. Uh, where did you grow up? Where were you born? Uh, I was born in North Bay, but I grew up in Calendar. I'm an actual Calendar girl, officially. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, and you you did like so many other people. You made the trek west. I did. I um, of course I started out, um, you know, a little bit in uh, in Ontario. I, I had this house gig at a place called Churchill's Restaurant in North Bay for for many years, just solo. Um, I ended up at the Country Music Awards in in Edmonton in 1990 and uh, met a lot of really awesome Vancouver people. And they kept saying to me, "You got to come to Vancouver. You got to come to Vancouver." And um, when I found out it didn't snow here, I I thought was the first reason why I thought I'd come. <laughs> I was one of these people in in uh, northern ontario who refused to dress for it so i was always cold but anyway um so i ended up here in 1990 and uh you know made just the rest is history really i've i feel like i've really started my music career here in vancouver nice now you 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 had to have a, a bit of a, a spark or an inspiration uh what was yours well first was my mother hi mama i know uh-huh. you're listening um she uh taught me my first song on the guitar when I, um, and it was uh, You Are My Sunshine and then a French song called La Soleil the fr- it's called the French song um, and then from there on I started to listen to James Taylor of course mm-hmm. and uh, I was it was nothing but James Taylor for many years I was very young and I would sit in my room with my cassette player uh, and just listen to his songs and I'd put my head down on the guitar and, and um, it, was all, it was more about guitar playing for me singing came much later so James Taylor was absolutely 100% the reason why, why I'm sitting here today well, I think we should probably do a James Taylor song. Yes. How about Fire and Rain? Oh, yes. All right, here's <laughs> Taylor James with some James Taylor. Tri-City Radio. Just yesterday morning They let me know you were gone Suzanne, the plans they made Put an end to you Walked out this morning And I wrote down this song I just can't remember Who to send it to I've seen fire And I've seen rain I've seen sunny days That I thought would never end I've seen lonely times When I could not find a friend But I always thought that I'd see you again Won't you look down upon me, Jesus You gotta help me make a stand You just got to see me through another day My body's aching and my time is at hand I won't make it any other way Oh, I've seen fire and I've 
seen rain Seen sunny days that I thought would never end I seen lonely times when I could not find a friend But I always thought that I'd see you again Time, my back turned towards the sun Lord knows when the cold wind blows It'll turn your head around Well, there's hours of time on the telephone line To talk about things to come Sweet dreams and flying machines In pieces on the ground Oh, I've seen fire and I've seen rain Seen sunny days that I thought would never end. I've seen lonely times when I could not find a friend. But I always thought that I'd see you, baby, one more time again. Now. Thought I'd see you one more time again. There's just a few things. Coming my way this time around now Thought I'd see A little bit of Taylor James, Fire and Rain. Actually, James Taylor. James Taylor. I know, I'm looking at that. It's like, <laughs> Taylor James is with me. Uh, like I said, she's cuter and smells better and uh, yeah, than James Taylor. Uh, Taylor James is here, and uh, she's a singer-songwriter and a guitar player. Now, that was one of your first influences uh, right there was James Taylor. Oh, yes. And, and your dad, what's your dad's name? Russell. Russell, be quiet. We're talking right now. <laughs> and uh, your dad was a big influence. And what did he have you play when you were a kid? Um, my dad was a very a, a truck driver, yep. a country fan, all the way, Merle Haggard, George Jones. And uh, I was just a little kid that could flat top pick. So I was playing Wildwood Flower and Jillian Banjos. And um, anybody that drove in the driveway, uh, that, would be, that could be the milkman, the bread man. That's, I'm aging myself here. Yeah. Uh, but that would be the songs. He'd say, come on, pick daddy a tune. And I'd play those two songs. I played them for his friends. I played them for the neighbors. I played those two songs everywhere, every, every given moment. And until I was old enough to say no and then taught my brother how to play them, then he had to do it. <laughs> What's your brother's name? John. John, <laughs> yeah. John are you still playing them? That's funny. <laughs> um, now, that obviously helped you with your guitar style. And it really did. Yeah? The, yeah. I mean, again, that's probably one thing that I can do that's different. You know, I, when, I, when I can pull out a flat top picking song, it's not very common for a lot of the girls that play guitar. And it sort of really uh, changed my style. Like, I can... I can hold a pick and pick with my fingers sort of like it's grown into the james taylor stuff and then the rock stuff i don't know hard to explain if you see me i guess to and, and that's one that. thing i noticed because it, it's like to me it's beyond me because i'm like okay three chords and i can do that you know america horse with no name yay i'm happy <laughs> but then i watch somebody like you and you got the, the pick and you got the fingers going it's like wow i'm, I'm totally blown away by that oh, um you did a guitar solo on your album, uh, Rewind. Uh, yes, tell us about that. Yes, I'm so proud of my little solo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Another inspiration for the album was because I have an electric side of me, and a lot of people know me for my acoustic playing. And, um, of course, I play with the best players in the, in, in the city, so uh, I tend to want to sit back and let them do it. And Johnny uh, said to me after that we did the album, I finished everything. He said, Taylor, I really, really want you to record a solo. And I said, but why? Why would I do that? There's Jay, and you guys are playing such great stuff. He says, no, I know you can do this. I want you to do this. So Jay was still there. All of his stuff was set up. Um, so they, they basically put the guitar on me. It was a Les Paul, beautiful Les Paul of, uh, of Jay's. And um, had me just close my eyes. And I don't know, I think we did three or four takes um, of this particular song and it was really funny because I closed my eyes and I was doing my thing and then I opened my eyes and I looked and at one point Johnny and Jay were both on the floor sort of bowing you know <laughs> <laughs> and I was like they're so sweet um, so anyway it was a really great moment and I'm very proud of it because I've never really heard myself uh, recorded I play lots of solos with my band but this was really a very very special moment well here's Taylor James I put a spell on you Tri-City Radio <laughs> Be 
Taylor James, uh, put a spell on you, uh, a far cry from screaming Jay Hawkins, and uh, your version, phenomenal. Annie Lennox came out with hers about the same time you released this, and it's like, this just puts hers to shame. Oh, Rod. Well, no, you look at it because you're singing, You got, I, I don't know, it is personal preference, I guess. There's a lot of Annie Lennox fans out there. Um, your, your family, we talked about your one brother. You've got another brother? Sister. Uh, and two a sister. Sisters. Oh, two sisters. Mm-hmm. Oh, so there's three of you. 
Yeah, four. Okay, four. <laughs> Sorry, I mean three others besides you. It's okay. I'm, <laughs> so you got three. There's two sisters, your brother and you. Yes. Okay, so uh, you're the uh, musician. Your other brother could have played, and he's in construction. Yes. You got a sister in Florida. Yes. And what's her name? Manek. Manek. And then you've got the loving sister that's at home right now. She drove over to your mom and dad's place. <laughs> she did. And uh, she's one of your biggest fans. Oh, yes. My sister Lorraine. Uh, she took time off work to make sure she went and got her laptop and sitting there with mom and dad right now. Hi, Lorraine. I love you so much. Uh, this is a very special moment for me. I've, I've uh, spent my entire career wanting my mother to hear my music and my dad on the radio. And uh, I come from a family where my mother had the radio on first thing in the morning it's, she still has a clock radio, Hey Mama, by her makeup where she puts it on, and she's always listening to the radio. And um, when I came to Vancouver, my dream was to have her at home in the kitchen cooking and hearing my music on the radio. And, uh, you know, I'm on the West Coast, and that didn't happen like I hoped it had. But um, you, Rod, thank you so much, are giving me this beautiful moment right now. And I know she's there listening, and it's... Uh, really important thank you oh you're welcome um now it's it's interesting because you say the the radio on all the time i come from the same kind of family and my my grandmother in particular and they had the uh that little coffee pot with that little <laughs> kind of sock in there they used to put the coffee grounds <laughs> into. well i don't know it seemed like a sock i don't know what it was uh but I it was we were right next i don't know <laughs> we need to spot but, more stories uh the um <laughs> The, the the smell of the coffee that they used to make, that, that harsh coffee, and then hearing Roger Miller, King of the Road, come <laughs> on. And that was what it was like for me growing up. So I imagine pretty much the same for you. We, we, your... It was instant coffee. Uh, oh. Taster's Choice, I think it was called. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now, now another one of the influences of you growing up uh, was a lady that, a phenomenal voice and almost a one-hit wonder, Phoebe, yeah. Phoebe Snow. I... I um... When I finally decided there was more to life than just James Taylor, um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I came across uh, Phoebe Snow, Poetry Man, but I was, um, that, that's probably the song that taught me how to, to sing in and out of falsetto, and I, I, re I remember again with a cassette tape, just, you know, playing that song over and over and over again, and, and practicing, learning the licks and stuff, and so that song's, yeah, really important to me. Well, here's some Phoebe Snow. This is Taylor James with us today. Uh, music memories and a whole bunch of different stories. Phoebe Snow, Poetry Man, Tri-City Radio.
A little bit of Phoebe Snow on Tri-City Radio. Taylor James, influenced by that song, and said it taught you how to sing and get that range there, going from a cappella back into your normal range. Yeah. And uh, it's, 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 a, it's a great song. Uh, Taylor James is with us. She's got friends and family all over the world that are, are listening. We're going to play another song from your album, but we got to play some commercials, so stick around. Taylor James is with us. We'll be back right after this. Staying competitive in today's business environment is a constant challenge, and marketing often gets lost in the clutter. Allegra Marketing can simplify all your marketing needs with one-stop shopping for everyday items like business cards and stationery, as well as signage, banners, custom printing projects, and a full line of branded materials. Allegra Marketing. They're fast, they're affordable, and they're local. On Broadway in Port Coquitlam. Explore how you can boost your business with Allegra Marketing. To see their complete range of products and services, visit AllegraPress.com. That's AllegraPress.com. Is there a squeak in your stair? Does your door need repair? Has the wind blowing your fence down? Do house repairs make you frown? Call the handyman, because he can. Small repair is made easy, from drywall to leaky taps. No job is too small. Call 604-401-4965. That's 604-401-4965 for all your home handyman needs. Is your life out of balance and overwhelming? Would you like to feel more relaxed, peaceful, and energized? On Sunday, May the 1st, Cameron Johnston, the stress and fitness coach for Silver Hills, will be presenting his unique and fun stress management seminar titled Cooling Down the Stress Soup. This takes place at Cornerstone SDA Church, located at 1415 Noons Creek Drive in Coquitlam, beginning at 2 p.m. And the cost is absolutely free. Yes, free. Plan now to attend. Everyone is welcome. For more info, call 604 941 42 it's 926. Good morning. Taylor James is with us, a singer, songwriter, a guitar player, uh, originally from Ontario. She saw the light and moved to the uh, the West Coast here. Uh, a phenomenal music family here on the West Coast, isn't there? Oh, my goodness. It's amazing. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that, I mean, well, you're one of them. I mean, there's a group of us who know who you are, and people might see you play at a venue or something, and they might think that you're an import in that, but you actually live here in Vancouver. You work in Vancouver. You, uh, your life is here now, even though your roots are in, where is it now, Calendar? Calendar. Ontario. Ontario. I didn't know there was a Calendar Ontario <laughs> until today. It's spelt different. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's important or not. But Well, is it E-R then? Uh, a- C-A-L-L-A-N-D-E-R, yes. Yeah, okay, it's, that's it's, it. Um, you, you've you got your album. It's uh, called Rewind, uh, taylorjamesmusic.ca, correct? No, taylorjamesmusic.com. Oh, .com, taylorjamesmusic.com. Uh, people, if they want to purchase your CD, uh, email is probably the best. We'll put this in our Facebook page, but what email okay. address? Um, yeah, well, let's do jamesmusic at shaw.ca. Okay, jamesmusic at shaw.ca. Uh, another song is a, a Led Zeppelin song. <laughs> now, what possessed you to do this? Because you're taking on one of the, the best vocalists of the, the, in the world when, when you, you decide to do Ramble On. You know, um, why did I decide to record this song? It, number one, it was the biggest fan choice, I think. Every live show that I, that I perform at, people are waiting and waiting and waiting for me to do this song. And um, I wasn't sure about putting it on the album. We weren't sure. Uh, but then again, we said, because of the fans, we thought, well, let's give it a go. And it turned out pretty good. So uh, it, made the, it made the album. I think it turned out great. Here's Taylor James, Ramble On, Tri-City Radio, 98.7 CKPM-FM.
leaves are falling all around It's time I was on my way Thanks to you I'm much obliged Such a pleasant stay Now it's time for me to go Come Lights my way Now I smell the rain With this pain And it's headed my way Oh, sometimes I grow so tired I know I got one thing I got to do Well, my Lord Well, now the time, the time is now Time for spreading roots The time has come to be gone To our health we drank A thousand times And it's time to ramble on
love it. Absolutely love it. That's uh, Taylor James Ramble on. And it's got to be tough when you, you, you take on like one of the best vocalists in the world and you do one of his songs or one of you know their songs because it is Led Zeppelin, right? Actually, you know what? You just reminded me of something. I actually sung that song with, with Robert Plant in the room and it was horrible for me. Yeah. Uh, I was singing at a, a Cardaro's restaurant down uh, in Cole Harbor and I uh, was doing my thing. You know, and I, that was again that one of those songs everybody would always want me to play. And then all of a sudden, this this group of guys, you know, walk in. They're going to the bar, and um, it was I didn't realize it. It was Ram, it was Robert Plant with all his bodyguards and some of his his musicians. And uh, when everybody realized it was him, they they sort of sat him in the back corner and people standing so you couldn't go near him. Although I don't know if everybody realized that it was him. The staff were coming up to you. You got to sing Ramble on. You got to sing Ramble on. I'm like, no, I don't want to sing. Are you crazy? I'm not singing. Robert Plant's here. You got to sing Ramble on. And uh, against every every part of my intuitive self, I did it anyway. And I remember my knees were shaking so hard, I could barely control, like, play my guitar anyway. So I did it, uh, put the guitar down, went to meet him, and he was awesome. And um, he actually signed my guitar. Unfortunately, the autograph is gone, and he played it for a little bit. And um, I actually had the, the lyrics to Ramble On taped on my guitar because I had opened for Bill Henderson, Chilliwack, and I did that song. And... Um, he he says, oh, you got the, the lyrics to ramble on on your guitar <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> anyway, it was a great moment. And um, he actually talked about Leonard Cohen and Joni Mitchell. He was very big fans of the Canadian. Well, yeah, because right? uh, California supposedly written about Joni Mitchell, too. So, of course, there's going to be a connection there. Yeah. Um, Taylor <laughs> James is with us. Uh, music memory stories from the road. Um, it, it's funny. You've got a lot of respect in the musical community. Um we're not going to mention the one, ga- one guy, but he's a, a singer of a, a band here and a very famous band and one of Canada's best bands. He's listening to us this morning. Uh, and uh, it, it's kind of nice because you're, you're having the talent and having the respect. I mean, was it tough getting what you perceive as respect? Do you still feel you have that respect? I mean, you've got mine because of your talent and that, but uh, I'm, I'm nobody. I'm just a radio guy, but there's all these musicians out there. Let's, let's get something straight right now. <laughs> You are somebody. Okay, <laughs> okay, but I mean, in the whole <laughs> you're scheme so of important. Things. Yeah, right. you don't even realize it. Um, anyway, we got that out of the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't think I've ever felt any lack of respect. Um, there was just the growing pain of becoming a female electric guitar player in a rock right. band. That was tough for the first six months. Um, you know, there were guys that wanted my gig. They wanted the, the, you know, they wanted to be standing where I was, and I somehow got the gig. Um, but I, and I learned on stage. So it was, I remember being really stressed out over my sound and not really knowing what my sound was. And, you know, um, I, had a, I had a lot of people give me heat about that, but then it just took time. Uh, Dave Gogo um, was one guy that was in the audience one night and came to me and said, you've got to own this if you're going to do it. And he said, the only thing you need is a tube screamer. <laughs> <laughs> so I went out and got one, and yeah. then I, I just thought about what he said to me in that moment because I really respected him. He's a great guitar player. And yeah. uh, I kind of just thought, yeah, you know what? This, I'm going to own this because because uh, it's me up here, and I, I got it. I got it together. Yeah, and, and you just think of that. Last time I saw David Gogo, uh, sad circumstances. It was uh, with uh, Mike, um, keyboard player that passed oh, away. Mike oh, Mike Norman. Mike Norman. Yeah, Mike Norman. Love I miss mean, Mike so much. Yeah, and I, I talked to David briefly there, and uh, just everybody was there, and. Uh, it's sad that we get everybody in the same room when something like that happens, but it's still good to see all the talent that's around mm-hmm. here. Now, now you talked about guitar and your sound. Uh, you got to play slide on one of the songs. Yes. Yeah, and, and uh, tell us about this song. Uh, well, it was it's a Robert Johnson, I believe, this old Robert Johnson song that Eric Clapton recorded. And um, again, John said, Taylor, you know, you got to get some slide on this record because that's what you do. And um, I'm, you know, I, I can hold my own with slide. I'm not. Bonnie Raitt by any means, but she certainly inspired me, and um, so we decided, yeah, let's get a kid on there that you can play some slides. So this is me. And this Again. is Taylor James. If I had <laughs> possession, Tri City Radio. <laughs> If I had possession 
treated me Tri-City Radio 98.7 CKPM FM. That's Taylor James, If I Had Possession. Taylor James, a singer, songwriter, guitar player, and playing a little bit of slide on there. Cool song. Thank you. Is, uh, Great song. You're uh, you're involved with a fundraiser happening, is it tomorrow night? Tomorrow night yeah. at the Fairview on Broadway. A uh, very, very dear friend of ours uh, in our music family, Delana Bowen, um, went through some hard times over Christmas, um, had a stroke, and is struggling to... Uh, put things back together again so uh, what I love about the music scene in Vancouver is we all come together and help our our family mates you know yeah so we're all getting together tomorrow night and uh, I think it starts I think doors are at seven Uh, Jim Burns is going to be there Um, a lot of uh, Joni Bai Um, you know a lot of all of our music community will be there tonight, tomorrow yeah. night, performing for uh, for Delana. And you mentioned Joni and Jim Burns. I mean, just another two phenomenal artists mm-hmm. that that are here. Uh, Joni was a huge part of the R and B All Stars, and uh, still is, still is a heart. Yeah, that's Austin right. They still Larson. play. Yeah, and uh, it, it's great to see that. And the Fairview, we we have to. And I will keep mentioning this because the Fairview has been around since we were in diapers yeah. pretty much as a live <laughs> venue. They used to have their Saturday afternoon jams. Yeah. They've had jazz, blues, rock. They've had everything through there. Yeah, they have. So this They're is still a, going. I mean, that's yeah. that's impressive right now. Hugely impressive. Yeah. So once again, the uh, the fundraisers tomorrow the is happening at the Fairview. Yes. And uh, Delana Bones. Yes. And uh, it doors open. I think it's seven. seven. And it's, the music starts at eight. I'm playing at eleven. I'm opening the last set that Jim Jim Burns is closing, and I'm opening. Uh, Joni By and Catherine Saint Germain are also doing a couple songs with me because we have this little trio yeah. that we do whenever we're lucky enough to do it. So um, please come down and support Delana. This is a really important night. And some, you're going to have nothing but great music there. So And, and definitely, yeah. Now, now we talked, uh, I guess, when that uh, song was playing, uh, the last one, If I Had Possession, uh, you picked up uh, a bit of the slide action from uh, an, another singer, songwriter, guitar player. Yes, Bonnie Raitt. Well, wow. you know, it's funny. I have to be honest. The very first g- slide guitar solo I ever learned was uh, Tragically Hips, Low. Uh, blow it high dough. <laughs> oh, really? <What>? Yeah. <laughs> it was a band, this rock band I talked about that really was a pivotal point in my career. Um, it was Paul Lane's band. When he wasn't um, touring, his band needed to keep playing, and they saw me playing acoustic guitar uh, one afternoon at some gig and said, Hey, you should join our band. And that was when it all started. When I got my, I rented an amp, I rented a guitar, and landed into this band of these, these really great rock players. And so they gave me this song list. I had a month to learn it. And Lord Hado was on there, and that was when I first learned how to play slide. And then, of course, I loved it. And then when I got into my blues band a few years later, it was perfect for me to start playing Bonnie Raitt songs. So that's how it all started. Well, here's Bonnie Raitt, Think Called Love, Tri-City Radio.
Tri City Radio ninety eight point seven CKPM FM. Bonnie Raitt, thing called love. Uh, another phenomenal. Like you guys have things in common. You're both good t- guitar players. You're both good singers. You're both uh, uh, writers, and you both have kind of red hair. Is <laughs> is that what the attraction was to Bonnie Raitt, or was it strictly a no. music thing? <laughs> <laughs> totally music. <laughs> uh, nice. Uh, this is something that we, we do uh, as much as we can. I invite uh, singers, songwriters, artists, and, and other people into uh, to talk about their their lives, uh, share some stories, play some music. Um, there's a friend of mine who used to look after lover boy, Gail Langdon's going to come in one day. Uh, Jerry Adolph, one of the uh, nice. best drummers around. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd like to get Matt Fernet in here, maybe Mike Reno one day. And uh, all the, It's an invite, open invite for all these guys. Mm-hmm. Um, now, you have uh, done the the troop tour as well with uh, a lot of great musicians i have um tom mckellop and mike norman and um will davis uh will's a funny you know guy will? <laughs> yeah so you just laugh just barely, just hearing his name um <laughs> these guys uh approached me um a few years ago now uh because i could sing in french and they needed a person that could sing a couple of french songs to go on these tours and uh of course uh, I was uh, immediately interested and became part of their bids, and I was very, very, very lucky to do, uh, f- I, I think, four tours. I went to Dubai twice, went to Greece, uh, Sarajevo, Sarajevo and Egypt, um, with you know people like Sean Barreau from Wide Mouth Mason, Dave Gogo, Patricia Conroy. Um, that's uh, probably one of the things I'm most proud of in my music career. I'd have to say. It's nice because you, as many other, and I, I'd say virtually every artist in, in Vancouver, always gives back. And, and that's kind of a way of giving back, isn't it? Yeah, it was pretty, pretty incredible um, to see. You know, it's one thing to, to hear the news. You hear about the troops and different things, and you get on with your life. But then when you're there on the base with them and, and you're on the ships, it's, it's, very, very, uh, it's very real. And you realize what they're, what they're sacrificing to do to be able to allow us this beautiful freedom. You're absolutely right, and uh, I'm I'm glad you guys did. I mean, I've had uh, I guess Mark LaFrance has uh, been in those yeah, too. Yes, Mark you, and Brent. Yeah, and you, you Nick weren't. And, yeah, and Brent. All of them, yeah. You weren't a part of the the ill fated one when the plane wouldn't land that one day, and they they had to actually uh, they were considering dropping their equipment out the back <laughs> of the Hercules because they couldn't get the landing gear down. You weren't a part of. that I wasn't tour. part of that one. That's probably alert. Oh yeah, all yeah, kinds that's of crazy alert. stories yeah, yeah. happen with, with those particular ones for so, some reason. If if I was to say to you, Taylor. What is the, the biggest memory, the first thing that pops into your head? Does it change from day to day, or is there something that, that you look at and say, wow? I look at the last 30 years and say, wow. Nice. Um, it's really hard to find one moment. It's like asking you to choose your favorite child. Uh, there's been so many people that have made such a difference in my life. Even like right now, I'm, you almost hesitate mentioning names because you don't want to forget anybody. Um, and... The Country Music Awards, Tom McKillop, and again, Mike Norman had me perform as a backup singer in their band. That was a very honorable moment. Jerry Adolph was in that band. Um, singing, uh, I performed on the bass in Cairo, not Cairo, the Sinai Desert. Um, I sang a Gordon Lightfoot song that I recorded on my solo album, um, Early Morning Rain. That was mm, a pretty special great song. moment for me. Um, I opened for Meatloaf. Uh, that was that was cool, but I don't know. There's just so many. See, I'm panicking right now because I'm I'm afraid I'm going to say or forget someone. Right? Um, oh, I know. Another. Can I say this, please? Yeah. Uh, Chris Polonis uh, from the Abiders. Jeff Bridges was playing at the uh, River Rock Casino, and um, happened to come into the, the the lounge where I was playing solo. And he came to me and introduced himself to say thank you. And you, you know, you've got some talent. And I was just I thought he was just another person who's gambling and they're doing their thing. And he says, Well, I'm with Jeff Jeff Bridges, and I was like quite honored that he came to speak to me and then that turned into two days of uh the, the band and the the, the the crew coming and singing with us and playing and they were just the nicest people on earth and i just those are the moments where i think wow i'm so lucky to do this because those are the coolest people around and they're just like you and i but this music has brought me those people music has brought me those experiences and i'm very grateful for that yeah it's you've got your your family like i know your mom and dad and sister are listening uh we're I gonna know. have yeah <laughs> i love them so much <laughs> we're gonna have this uh <laughs> recorded and we'll put it into our archives so everybody else can listen but uh you you've got your 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 family that you're born to but then the the musical family and 
I'm proud enough to be a part of that too because there's just so many darn nice people that, you know, just, hey, how's it going? It's so cool. Yeah. I mean, you, and in music, it's kind of like once you share a moment on stage, it's like there's that connection that is, you can't describe it, but you're now connected. And it's for life. Yeah. Very often. That is. Uh, Taylor James is here, music memories and a few stories. Going to play a couple commercials and we got time for a couple more Taylor James songs right after this. The all-new Nissan Titan XD, powered by Cummins. Check it out at Morey Nissan of Coquitlam. A new class of truck deserves a new class of engine. The all-new 5.0-liter Cummins turbo diesel V8 engine. 310 horsepower with two-stage turbocharger. And an impressive towing capacity of more than 12,000 pounds. The all-new 2016 Nissan Titan XD is going to change everything. Visit Morey Nissan of Coquitlam today at 2710 Low Heat Highway in Port Coquitlam. Just down the road from Coquitlam Center or check them out at morinissancoquitlam.com. Add some spring to your step with the Canadian Cancer Society's Daffodil Dash, April 24th at Rocky Point Park. It's a 1K walk, a 5K run, and a mini dash for the kids. The Daffodil Dash raises funds for cancer research, prevention, and support for people living with cancer. So put on your sunniest yellow outfit, run solo, bring the family, or team up with your friends and colleagues. It's a great day of running, fundraising, and fun. The first ever Daffodil Dash at Rocky Point Park, Sunday, April 24th. Details at Cancer. Yeah. CA slash Daffodil Dash. Proudly supported by Tri-City Radio, 98.7 CKPM FM. Faster, higher, stronger. The Coquitlam 2016 55 Plus BC Games Office opens. You're invited to the celebration. The community awareness event is Saturday, April 9th from 1 to 4 p.m. at 640 Poirier Street, Coquitlam. Family friendly fun with balloon making and face painting. Official ceremonies with dignitaries begin at 2 p.m. Participate in a City of Coquitlam triumph. Preview or purchase your Coquitlam 2016 55 Plus Games apparel. The community awareness event, Saturday, April 9th, 1 to 4 p.m., 640 Poirier Street, Coquitlam. Quitlam. Taylor James is with us, uh, music memories and stories. Uh, now, your your mom and dad, of course, your dad had you do that uh, flat top pick in <laughs> when you were a little wee girl. Did they force you into music or did you wake up one day and say, hey, I got a, a thing for this. I, I, I kind of know what I want to do. And did you pursue it yourself? Uh, um, mom and dad didn't force me to do anything other than play those two songs. Um, no, I, I was uh, quite happy not playing for people. To be honest, I was uh, I found it torturous, and uh, I used to have friends always want me to sing at their weddings, and I would say no for over and over and over and over again, and then they finally I'd finally you know give in and say okay I'll do it, um, and then it wasn't till many 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 years I was a, a very accomplished hairstylist in my hometown North Bay, uh, and as people kept bugging me about it, they kept saying come on you know join my band do this, and I finally stepped over that line, and then realized oh wait a minute. Maybe this is something that I could do. But it was never about, again, it was always guitar, 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 guitar. And then someone said, you can sing. And, go, and I didn't think I could, I didn't like singing, didn't think I could sing. And then all of a sudden, again, I could talk for hours about it, but I ended up here. And you can sing uh, because this, this CD you've got out called Rewind, there are varying, like everything from Led Zeppelin to the Allman Brothers to Screaming Jay Hawkins to pa uh to uh not patty to smith uh to three dog night and uh stevie winwood can't find my way home uh spencer or sorry traffic uh phenomenal song yeah i love this version well, let's yeah. just play it this is can't find my way home tri city radio <laughs> I can't find my 
I've been waiting all these years Somebody holds a key That's Taylor James, a traffic song, Can't Find My Way Home. Taylor James is with us, music memories, and some stories. We do this when we can. We invite people in. I understand that Mike Reno has said he wants to be here. Yes, which he did. I'm excited about because there's a funny story. We'll get back to you because this is about you, not, <laughs> not about Mike Reno. <laughs> but when the, their first album came out, we had an advanced copy of it. Uh, because I was doing something for the Miss Kitsilano contest down on Kitts Beach by the pool there. I think Russ McLeod from Seafun got us a copy. I think we were the first people in Canada to actually play the song somewhere, and it was The Kid Is Hot Tonight. And, oh, my God, yeah. really? Oh, and wow. I just think of these things. And, you know, you live the dream by doing this. I live my <laughs> dream through your guys' eyes. Yeah. Now, your album, Rewind, it is re- uh, possible because of... Bob Harris and Von Barben. Yeah. Uh, those two guys were very big fans of mine and uh, without question made this happen. Thank you. I hope they're listening. I, I think they're listening. Thank you, uh, Bob and Von. I miss you guys a lot. Yeah. And uh, the, you also, there's a track on there which you do justice again, like you do with all the music on here. Uh, Bill Henderson and Chilliwack. We grew up listening to this oh. song and you've got your own cover of it. I do. And it's funny because we recorded the song and then uh, we decided we'd ask Bill if he'd be a part of it. Uh, maybe we, we asked him actually if he'd sing a, one of the verses with me and we sent him the mp3 and he heard it and he said you know I, there's nothing I would change about it but hey maybe I could play some guitar and we were so excited so essentially when you listen to my version of Fly at Night you're going to hear Bill Henderson playing the exact same solo on my version that he played on his version and that's that's a cool moment that's what I should have said a, a half an hour ago when I was in the studio with headphones on and watching Bill play that solo on my version of his song there are no, no words to describe how proud I was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's cool. And for him to give you that compliment. Oh, he's awesome. He's I, such a great guy. He, I mean, him and his brother and his daughter, how talented well, is I just she? I saw Saffron <laughs> last night. You yeah. Know, was, they're, the whole family, they're amazing. Uh, yeah. And now the, we're here again. We, we got to plug the, um, the fundraiser tomorrow night. Yes. Delana Bowen, the Fairview doors at seven. Entertainment starts at eight. It's every single person you can imagine in Vancouver who's, who is the the stuff? Yeah, <laughs> going to be on stage. Uh, I'm I'm playing uh, at eleven o'clock. Jim Burns is closing. Please, everyone, come down and support Delana. She really needs your help right now. That is so cool. And I was going to play. Well, first off, okay, we're going to give away an album. Uh, yes. We'll do a social media thing here somewhere. Just like us on our CKPM ninety eight point seven Facebook page, or uh, yeah, that'll be it. So do that, and then we'll draw <laughs> for it, and uh, we'll give it away. Now, the other thing too is if people want to buy your album, uh, they can email us or you at yeah, you can email me at jamesmusic at shaw dot ca. I mean, I think you can. St- I've had some issues with my website um, recently, so I'm just giving you this email address to play it safe. Just email me personally, and I'll make sure you get an album if that's what you're interested in or whatever you need to know. Excellent. Taylor James has been here. I was going to play the I'm Tired song, but after you were talking about Bill Henderson in the studio, <laughs> we, we've got to close it off with this. Yeah, we do. This is uh, Taylor James' <laughs> Fly at Night, Tri-City Radio. Fly at night in the morning we land Fly at night till we're satisfied 
see the morning from the other side And when we close our eyes Sleep comes fast When you fly the universe Well, you need some rest Yeah, you need some rest Satisfied, see the morning from the other side. I 